Hello everyone. Pleasant greetings on the behalf of Multisoft Virtual Academy. This session is useful for individuals who aim to build expertise in basic and advanced design and verification modeling. Let us keep the agenda of the training clear in our mind. I will begin with the introduction to VLSI and then give an understanding of the Verilog language which will include the introduction to the language and its respective features. Further, we'll move on to the course details that will include the scope of the language, target audience, and the course outline of the Verilog training program. Once you know what all contents will be covered in the training, I will pick up one of the course topics and cover its related concepts in the sneak preview section. At last, I will cover in detail how Multisoft will conduct online Verilog training. Towards the end, I'll summarize the session for you. Before I share information about Verilog with you all, it is important that I provide you a brief introduction to VLSI as it forms the basis of Verilog. VLSI stands for Very Large Scale Integration. It is a process of creating an IC that is integrated circuit. This technology integrates millions of transistors in a small area. It is important for us to understand the objective of VLSI, which aims to design an efficient integrated system with high speed, low power consumption and small design area. Further, I will move on for giving you all a brief insight of the VLSI design flow which includes the complete process of integrated circuit designing. It starts with creating design in order to fulfill the specification on the basis of function and performance, converting requirement into algorithm format referred to as behavioral designing, then converting behavior design into language format referred to as RTL designing. Then there is functional verification to ensure that the design is logically correct without major timing errors. The next step is to perform logical synthesis by means of which the desired circuit behavior that is registered transistor level is turned into design in terms of logic gates in order to drive the circuit or architecture. This is followed by gate level netlist, which results from synthesis tool including the basic standard cell with their interface. After this, logical verification and testing is done to verify the netlist. We then need to conduct floor planning in order to plan the silicon diameter area for cell placement and their interconnections. Then you need to place and route in order to place and connect the cell. Next comes the physical layout in which the circuit representations of the components of the design are converted into geometric representations to ensure the required functioning of the components after being manufactured in the corresponding layers of materials. Then is layout verification wherein an IC layout design is checked via EDA software tools to see if it meets certain criteria. This verification involves DRC that is design rule check the LVS that is layout versus schematic, ERC that is electrical rule check, XOR that is exclusive OR and antenna checks. Lastly, the process of fabrication takes place that is used to create the integrated circuits that are present in everyday electronic devices. It is a multiple step sequence of photolithographic and chemical processing steps during which electronic circuits are gradually created on a wafer made of pure semiconducting material. Now that we've built up our basics of VLSI, it's time that I introduce you to Verilog HDL. Verilog HDL is a hardware description language used to design and document electronic systems. It originated at the Automated Integrated Design Systems, which was later renamed as Gateway Design Automation. Automation grew rapidly with the success of Verilog Excel and was finally acquired by Cadence Design Systems. Later on, Cadence Design Systems decided to open the Verilog language to the public in 1990 and thus OVI, that is Open Verilog International, was born. Also, an IEEE working group was established in 1993 under the Design Automation Subcommittee to produce the IEEE Verilog Standard 1364. Verilog became the IEEE standard 1364 in 1995. Verilog HDL allows designers to design at various levels of abstraction. Along with this, 
This language basically has three versions, namely Verilog 95, Verilog 2001, and Verilog 2005. The first two versions are specific for design and implementation purpose, and the third version is used for verification purpose. Last but not the least, it is the most widely used edge deal with a user community of more than 50,000 active designers. Next, as we proceed, let me discuss some features of Verilog HDL. This language has concurrent execution because of which it completely suits to the hardware behavior. As the syntax are similar to the C language, therefore it is easy to understand as compared to other HDL languages. Also, this language has different levels of abstraction along with the capability of verification and implementation of design. Also, the Verilog code is independent of technology, so it is hardly a matter of concern as to what technology is being used. Let us jump to the core specific details now. Now, if I talk about the scope of Verilog, it is a language which provides the digital designer a software platform and allows the user to express their design with behavioral constructs. Now, the question which pops in our mind is where is it exactly used and who uses it? Well, it is used to describe the complex digital design in behavioral programming format and verifies the functionality of design. Verilog is used by a chip design or verification engineer. In terms of target audience, this course is beneficial for electronics graduates or postgraduates, working professionals of VLSI field and professionals from other domains who plan to switch to the VLSI field. This slide shows the complete course outline for Verilog online training. When you register with us for the training, we will cover all these modules in detail. Now let us get ready for something interesting and exciting. Yes, you're right, it's time for the most awaited section, that is the sneak preview. Let us begin to get an insight of the core subject concepts. Verilog is both the structural and functional language. Internals of each module can be defined at five levels of abstraction, depending on the need of the design. The module behaves identically with the external environment irrespective of the level of abstraction at which the module is described. Internals of the module are hidden from the environment. Thus, the level of abstraction to describe the module can be changed without any change in the environment. Let us further discuss the details about these levels. The first level is the switch level. It is the lowest level of abstraction for a digital HDL, which refers to the ability to describe the circuit as a necklace of transistor switches. It is a more detailed modeling scheme that can catch some additional electrical problems when transistors are used in this way. The next comes the gate level. This level of abstraction is just the upper level than the gate level which refers to the ability to describe the circuit as a net list of primitive logic gates and functions. The gates have one scalar output and multiple scalar inputs. The gate level modeling approach works very well because the number of gates is limited and the designer can instantiate and connects every gate individually. However, in complex design, the number of gates is very large. Thus, Implementing the function at a level higher than gate level is a good choice. The next one is data flow. Data flow modeling has become a popular designing approach as logic synthesis tools have become more sophisticated. This approach allows the designer to concentrate on optimizing the circuit in terms of data flow. Further moving on to behavioral modeling, Verilog behavioral models contain procedural statements that control the simulation and manipulate variables of the data types previously described. The activity starts at the control constructs initial and always. Each initial statement and each always statement starts a separate activity flow. All of the activity flows are concurrent, allowing the user to model the inherent concurrence of hardware. The last one is RTL modeling. This level describes the system by the flow of data and control signals within and between functional blocks. Or we can say that RTL is a combination of behavioral and data flow modeling which should be synthesizable. RTL description is more complex and less technology dependent than behavior hardware description which can be implemented on hardware. 
I'm pretty confident that all of you enjoyed the sneak preview section and found it informative. With that thought, let us move on to understand how online training will happen at Multisoft. When you register with us for the training, we will connect with you as per the pre-decided time and impart training for 18 hours in all. For the exact schedule and each session's duration, you can refer to the training calendar on our website. The training happens through a secure web conferencing tool that allows a real-time learning experience. Once you register with us, we send out event links to you, wherein you log into a collaborative platform that allows two-way interaction between the student and the trainer through webcam and voice chat. It is as good as a classroom since the whiteboard allows the trainer to transfer knowledge as done in a classroom. The share option lets the experts share files, videos, applications and even desktops. Once you register with us, we provide you 24 by 7 access to an online resource center wherein apart from accessing other training material, you can also attempt 6 assignments and 2 lab exercises. Apart from these two valuable resources, you also get access to all related presentations and training videos. This is a sample of the online assessment that will test your knowledge on the various course concepts. All the questions will have few options, out of which you need to select the correct one. At the end of the assessment, you'll get the information on the correct answers and reasoning behind the same. Now it is time to summarize the session. This will be an 18 hours instructor-led online training that will be conducted by an experienced instructor. In addition, you will get 24 by 7 access to the learning management system where you can attend 6 assignments and 2 lab exercises. After the training, you will also receive a certificate from Multisoft. This session was an attempt to provide you detailed information about Verilog online training program. In order to register for the course or to ask any question, please write to us at info at multisoftvirtualacademy.com.